Hello, this is Matt on the Moon Lambo channel, and a major milestone has been hit. My friends, the XRP Ledger now has 3 million plus accounts that have been created uh, holding XRP. That's, that's astonishing. 3 million accounts created. Uh, the XRP Ledger now having been live in the neighborhood of, I'll just, uh, just say, roughly eight and a half years. Uh, that's astonishing. And, and, and there's a number of things to consider here. So first of all, in terms of fundamentals, this has happened um, with XRP having uh, minimal to no utility for most of its lifetime. Now, at this point, uh, it is neat to see that XRP is one of the only cryptocurrencies on the entire planet that is being used in commercial software, enterprise grade software, actually functionally being used every single day moving money around the planet and there are other use cases as well uh, and that's astonishing but you know the amount of transactions uh, on the whole the, like the percentage of transactions on any daily basis that uh, are, are part of that we're talking about on-demand liquidity which is part of ripple net specifically utilizing xrp as a bridge currency well it, it's a very small percentage of that which is why it's exciting to see the price action and uh, global participation within the XRP ecosystem that is occurring, despite the fact that uh, we're still in like the fledgling stages of XRP being adopted as a bridge currency. And that's not some sort of harsh critique, just to be a critique against you know Ripple and building out what they're building. Like it, it, this is not an easy thing what they're doing, uh, but I do believe that you will see exponentially an increase in the adoption of this technology as time passes, because the bigger the network gets, the more appealing it comes to join it. Uh, if, you know, just if you just think about uh, connecting endpoints for transactions, well, if a bunch of other people are already in it and you're thinking about joining, like, oh, well, you could connect with them and them and them and then. And so then it increases exponentially. And then as that happens, one would certainly think that it would increase uh, attention, uh, you know, from a speculator's perspective, like, huh, well, the whole XRP thing, what do you know? It's still here after a very long period of time and increasingly being used by financial institutions, remittance firms, so on and so forth. And for the people that want to continue to jump into the crypto asset class, you might think that that would instill confidence that XRP is going to be here for a while. More and more people piling in, supply and demand takes its its hold, uh, does what it does. And uh, mind you, XRP is a deflationary asset. With every single transaction, a, a little little tiny fraction of it is burnt and and it's just gone forever. And so, given that's the case, I mean, it's the opposite of the United States dollar, which is. Uh, very inflationary, I think it's fair to say at this point. Uh, supply and demand dynamics are going to take hold here. And this is even more fascinating when you consider the fact that, uh, that during the last bull run, less than 1 million um, XRP accounts existed. In fact, check this out. Um, it, it, it was, it may have been like, five, six, seven days after uh, XRP's all-time high, which occurred on January 4th, 2018, when it hit almost four bucks, uh, five, six, seven days, whatever it was after that, that's when uh, the XRP ledger hit one million accounts activated. But here's here's what's super duper interesting, I think. If you just look back uh, to, to, you know, two and a half weeks before that all-time high, uh, there were only somewhere in the neighborhood of, I want to say 650,000, maybe 700,000 total XRP accounts. So think about that. XRP was around for live, the, the network live, traded for four years, got up to 600,000 accounts. Then when XRP started running last uh, last bull run, in two and a half weeks, went from, roughly, went from whether it was 650, 700,000 total accounts to a million. Now, <laughs> if, if that few people can cause that, the extra price of XRP to run up, uh, to, to run up that high, what do you think is going to happen now that there's there are three times as many accounts now as there were back then? And frankly, I think that means that there are a lot more holders. Can I can I say that? Because I firmly believe that's the case. Now, there's an argument to be made, and, and both points that I'm about to cite are true. We don't know for sure how many people are participating within the XRP ecosystem right now, how many are holding. Because, uh, you know, for instance, I have, and you may too, I have multiple XRP accounts, my own accounts, and so multi if, if each person has multiple accounts, you could say, and there's only 3 million accounts, well, then there should be fewer than 3 million people in the XRP ecosystem, right? Uh, no, 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 actually not, not true. I think it's much more likely that actually that there are substantially more than 3 million people that have, uh, have uh, are, are investing today in XRP. 
the reason being is I think that most people aren't setting up their own cold storage wallets. I think most people that own XRP, they just hold it on cryptocurrency exchanges over the world. And there are hundreds of markets the world over, frankly. And most cryptocurrency exchanges, the way that they're set up is your XRP is not in your own individual address. It's in a shared address on the cryptocurrency exchange. And then you're, you, you have a little sub address, for lack of a better term. Uh, and so if you've ever had a punch in the tag ID, uh, that, that's what it's for. It indicates your, your, where your portion of the XRP on the exchange is located. That's also why when you're moving XRP to your own cold storage wallet, you don't need the, the, the tag ID because it's all just yours, right? And, and so with all of these people you know, trading XRP, uh, so many of them are just frankly too lazy or just don't care enough. Uh, no, no offense if you're one of them. <laughs> and I'm not saying you're lazy necessarily, uh, but I think so many of them maybe they just don't even care, which is fine. You know, they teach their own. Uh, they don't even care enough to set up their own wallets. Uh, and, and so that this, how many people are actually in it? Does that mean it's 10 million, 20 million, 30 million people? I, I don't know the number. I, I don't know that there's any data on that. Uh, but suffice it to say, I think it would be a very small number of people that are actually uh, investing, uh, or, or I'm sorry, not investing, uh, that are actually taking the time to set up their own wallets here. So, you know, the, when this thing goes, because look, we're still in a bull market. I understand how scary the price action has been, very volatile. Uh, XRP's seen better days than, again, it's seen much worse days. Uh, I mean, think about it several months ago, XRP was at 17 cents. Yeah, so I'm bitching too much here. But we're still in a bull market. Yeah, Bitcoin dominance has been picking up. I understand that. But, um, if you just let a sufficient amount of time pass, and if it is the case that we're still in a bull market, as most analysts that I follow anyway think, uh, even if it takes weeks or months or who knows, at some point alts will, altcoins will start rallying if history is to repeat itself, because historically that is indeed what has happened. And look, I'm not, I'm, I'm not pretending to have uh, some sort of expertise. Look, I, I don't have a financial background. I'm not offering financial advice, so don't buy or sell because of what I'm saying here. Uh, but I, I'm just saying... The average person can take a look at what has happened historically and come to these types of conclusions. I think it's perfectly rational to suspect this is what we're in store for. And so if you can see that type of price action running up to four bucks with uh, with only a million XRP accounts, what's going to happen now that there are millions and millions more people and there's way more money in the space now, which started at Bitcoin and can flow down now into XRP and other coins, which is historically what has happened, but that much more flowing into it. What the hell do you think is going to happen? This is going to be a monster, I think. So I'm not going to, I'm never going to let all the, the, the uh, intimidating price action shake me out of the market. I'm just going to sit here and hold. It's truly fascinating. And so it, there's that. So already here, I anticipate that XRP is going to be worth substantially for, more in uh, uh, this market cycle. And I can totally understand why my fellow XRP YouTuber, for instance, the blockchain backer, keeps saying that he anticipates XRP will go uh, anywhere from $10 to $13 this market cycle. Uh, yeah, I, I don't think that's wacky stuff. Seeing how high Ethereum got, for example, damn. I'd be surprised if XRP didn't at least hit $10. And again, not financial advice. My my expectations and hopes for where this is uh, going to go. This you know, I I could be wrong. I just I I have strong conviction, and I think it's fun to talk about this stuff. But uh, Mike, it's just hard to think that it wouldn't get to those types of levels. And many analysts think it'll go much higher, twenty or thirty dollars this market cycle. All sorts of analysts think that as well. I've been highlighting on my channel for some time, uh, but. My gosh, the the number of new accounts being created. In fact, look look at this. This is um, this this chart in the middle of the screen here is the number of new accounts activated. And I, I've been updating you guys from time to time. I mean, even just yesterday you had what four thousand six hundred ninety four uh, accounts. Uh, I mean, you're you're looking at typically like five, six, seven, eight thousand new accounts per day. And so, you know, if you think about it, back to like January of last year, on average, you're getting only about 500 new accounts per day because there's less attention around the ecosystem. But now, even with the volatility, there are all sorts of people that are holding XRP in their own possession for the long haul. This is incredible. And so then you start thinking, okay, well, what, what's the ecosystem going to look like once, uh, once, once utility it takes hold in a, in a much more notable way? And I can only fathom how many tens of millions of, of XRP accounts are beyond are we going to be seeing here um, on the screen? Because right here, look, th this is it right here on Ledger.Exposed. This is the XRP rich list displaying the total number of XRP accounts, 3,013,820 in total. 
That is astonishing. That's that number right here that I'm circling. Three million accounts. And, and that's a big jump up. I mean, it's only been a few years for, since we hit that, that million mark. And it's going to go berserk. I mean, if you're talking last market cycle in a matter of two and a half weeks going from, you know, like, well, it increased by what? Let's just say a few hundred thousand, maybe 300,000 new accounts in two and a half weeks. Well, when it really starts going again, this market cycle with more money and more people in the space, I don't even know what that number is going to be, but I, I bet much higher. I won't be surprised if you see days where there's, 40 or 50,000 brand new accounts being created. Because even last market cycle, uh, there were there was at least one day where over 20,000 new accounts were created, one single day. Uh, and, and so it didn't stay like that, obviously, because that was during the, the, the real height of the mania for, for XRP price action, but still, my gosh. So the, the, the best days, I personally think, are, are yet ahead of us here. And if you could just fast forward like another decade or two, like if, if XRP truly does become a global bridge currency, and all sorts of corridors are open. Uh, what would, what's that going to look like? How many accounts? What's the price going to be? Man, I guess we're going to find out together here. Uh, I just think it's going to be so life changing for so many people if this comes to pass. So, uh, so we shall see. And in the meantime, you know, fundamentals they they frankly don't seem to matter uh, in the in the crypto sphere. And it's 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 not that utility will, will never matter. It's not that nobody cares. I care, you care, and there are there are no, enough people that do care to, to have kept XRP in the top ten for you know the better part of a decade in terms of market cap positioning. Uh, but most people, when they come in, they're just FOMOing in and then they'll panic sell and this and that. And it's not about fundamentals. It's just humans being humans, emotionally buying and selling. They're, they're just speculating. That's what it is. But uh, as uh, as time passes, it will become more clear which cryptocurrencies are functionally being used by businesses. And those, I think, will have tremendous staying power. And as long as XRP continues to be adopted, it can certainly be among those. So I don't know about you guys, but I thought this is a cool, uh, one hell of a cool milestone I am nothing but optimistic for the future. So if you're one of those people that's out there scared because of the low XRP price action, I'm sympathetic. I get it. Um, and I personally think that better days are yet ahead. And I'm not going to be shaken out of this market because of a bunch of lemmings that followed one after another off, to, uh, off a cliff uh, to their own demise. Not going to play that game. I'll wrap up there, though. I am not a financial advisor. Do not buy or sell anything because of anything I say or write. That would be a very, very, very bad idea. Until next time, to the moon, Lambo.